Hey everybody, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. As a leader or as someone who leads meetings, are you ever frustrated because you tend to hear from the same people over and over? And it's usually the extroverts in the meeting whereas the introverts are very quiet. So today I'm gonna to talk about five ways that you can encourage introverts to speak up in meetings. The first way that you can encourage introverts to speak up is by giving them the agenda and the topics ahead of time. Don't spring something on them in a meeting and expect them to speak up. If you give them the topics, if you give them the agenda ahead of time and let them know, hey, I would really like to know your thoughts on this, it gives them time to mentally prepare before the meeting. The second way that you can encourage them to speak up is by doing a self-check as the leader of the meeting and making sure that you never assume just because they're not initiating a question or they're not speaking up with input or an opinion that they don't have anything to say. Remember, a lot of times introverts will not speak up unless they are called on. So they wanna make sure that their opinion, their thought, their question is really valued. And so therefore, if they don't initiate like the extroverts do, remember it's because they're introverts. And so feel free to call on them, let them know that you really do want to hear from them. Now it's not enough just to call on them because some introverts hate to be called on. So number three is very important when encouraging introverts to speak up in meetings, and that is to give them some advance notice that you're going to call on them in a meeting. So let's say, for instance, you've got Jesse over here who is extroverted, and you've got John over here who is introverted. So make sure and call on those extroverts first Call on Jesse, the extrovert. And before you call on Jesse, say, Jesse, I wanna hear from you. And then John, I wanna hear from you next. Give the introvert advance notice of when you want them to speak. And that will help them to mentally prepare, okay, I'm gonna be speaking next. If you just call on the introvert at first, they're gonna probably be caught off guard. They're probably gonna give you a short answer and they may be flustered because they haven't had a heads up in time for you to let them know that you do wanna hear from them. Introverts prefer to think to speak. So they really like to form their thoughts before speaking, whereas extroverts like to speak to think. So an extrovert in a meeting doesn't even really have to be called on. They're gonna be offering all their opinions and all their thoughts and asking all their questions. Let them go first. They will like it and the introverts will like it that the extrovert has gone first. It doesn't mean that you have to call on all the extroverts at first, but when people first start talking, make sure and call on an extrovert before you call on an introvert. If you are liking this video, I hope that you will hit the like button and that you will subscribe for more videos on introverts, confidence, and communication. Now let's get to number four. The fourth way that you can encourage introverts to speak up is by protecting their space when they are speaking. So many times leaders meaning well want to interject and really what you're doing is you're interrupting them. Or if you're extra, an extrovert and you're in the meeting and the introvert starts to say something and it triggers an idea with you and you interrupt them, most of the time the introvert's just going to shut down. The introvert's just going to be quiet because the introvert does not want to compete for time talking. So if an introvert's interrupted, they're just gonna get silent and shut down. Even if it's an innocent interruption, make sure and stop the interrupter until the introvert has finished speaking. Now, if all of these things fail, you're still just getting very little from the introvert in the meeting when it comes to input, when it comes to questions, and you know that there's more there. 
you can do what's the number five, and that's sometimes the magic bullet with introverts. And that is remembering that they really do prefer that smaller, more intimate one-on-one -on -one conversation. So actually having a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them to help draw them out. They may just feel uncomfortable speaking in a meeting. Meetings may be torture for them just for that reason. And if that is the case, then use one-on-one -on -one time to draw them out and get their input, get their questions, get their thoughts. Is it efficient? No, but we all know that we need to be efficient with tasks and not with people. So if you really wanna lead introverts well and you really wanna hear from them, sometimes those one-on-one -on -one meetings are going to be your magic bullet. Are you an introvert that wishes your leader or the extroverts that you work with could see this video? Well, share it with them. And if you have other ways that you have developed to allow introverts to be more engaging in a meeting, please share them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you.